In the comment sections for some of my AC fixing videos, people have been asking me to make a video about how to troubleshoot a control board. And they're actually really not that hard to troubleshoot. Unfortunately, to troubleshoot a control board, you do need a meter. So if you don't have one, you might need to get one. So take your furnace doors off, or your air handler. And most air handlers or furnaces will have a control board. Some of the older ones will not. For the most part, there is a control board in every furnace. Typically, it'll be located right in front of the blower housing, where your blower motor is. Once in a while, it'll be in the upper section too. So the way it works is, you got power coming into the furnace, or the air handler, right here. It goes into your power switch. So if I turn that off, it turns everything off, the AC or the furnace. So power goes into there, the switch is on. So then power goes into here, line voltage. And then from the junction box, it goes down, and the first place it stops at is the door switch. As you can see, mine is taped. In order to check voltages, you do have to have your door switch taped. Most furnaces will have a door switch, either on the left or right, or in my case, in the middle. So tape that or put a screw in it so it stays shut. And then always keep in mind that it is live. You have 120 volts somewhere there, so be mindful and don't touch any terminals so you don't get shocked. So after the power goes into the door switch, if the door switch is closed, the power then goes into the control board. Typically it'll be marked, line. Line voltage goes into that terminal. So from the door switch, it goes into there, and that's what powers up your control board. So after power goes into it, the circuit board part of it brings power to whatever is calling for power, like the blower motor or the inducer or the igniter. So what will happen is sometimes, let's say during the AC season, the AC outside will turn on, everything seems to be working good, but the blower motor inside of the furnace is not turning on. Sometimes what's wrong is that the board is not sending power to the blower motor and simply not powering it up. Or other times you have voltage coming in from the transformer, 24 volts, into the control board, but then that voltage does not come back out. That means there's some kind of a circuit or a diode or some resistor inside the board that got burnt out. So in a nutshell, how I was taught is if there's power going in, but no power coming out, that means the board is bad. So what I like to do when I start is I set my meter to voltage. My door switch is taped shut, so I have power going through. I like to first verify that my furnace is getting power. And a lot of times a good indicator will be the indicator light, the diagnostic indicator light. If that's blinking, then most likely you do have power. You have 120 volts and you have 24 volts but not all furnaces will have that light. So what I like to do is check it quick. So if you pull off the wire that goes to your line terminal, from the door switch to your line terminal, just pull that off. Stick one meter lead in there. And with your other terminal, you need to find a common somewhere. I like to just use a the common on the transformer just because it's more accessible than the rest of them. And if you just stick your lead into the metal spade of that transformer, common there, you should get 120 volts. So if you look at my meter, you see 120 volts. So from my line terminal to a common, you're supposed to have 120 volts. And I do have voltage there. <clears throat> that means my furnace is getting power and it's getting past that door switch. So I can plug that back in. Next, what I like to check is that my transformer is getting 120 volts as well. So I like to loosen the connectors on the transformer, black and white. That's gonna be your 120 volt side. Usually it's a black and white wire. I like to just leave them like half unplugged like that so I can put my meter leads on them. So you put one lead on the common from the transformer and one lead on the primary hot side. And if you look at my meter, you got 120 volts. So the board is sending power to the transformer. Now, if your board is getting power, if you check your line voltage on your line terminal and it's getting 120 volts, but it's not sending power to your transformer. So if you check the white and black on the transformer and there's no 120 volts, then your board is bad and it's not sending power to that transformer. Next thing you want to check is the secondary side of your transformer. So it transforms that 120 volts into 24 volts. So if you go on this side, 
usually, I mean, they're always different colors, the secondary side lines, the secondary side wires, but they will be opposite of the 120 volt side. If you put both of your leads on those, you should have somewhere around 24 volts. And there you go, I have 28 volts. So my transformer is, is sending 28 volts out. And also there's a fuse in line with that. Sometimes it'll be on the board. I don't have a place for it on the board, so mine is spliced in on the hot side coming from the transformer, the 24 volt side. And then what I like to do is track where those 24 volt wires from the transformer go. In my case, it goes into the, the one side goes into the fuse, my fuse is good, goes out the other end and goes into the small X plug. Then the other wire right here, the common, also goes into the small X plug. So the 24 volt wires go straight into the control board. Sometimes they'll have their own terminals. It'll be called secondary one and secondary two. So if I put my meter leads into the Molex plug, the hot side and the common, as you can see, I have 28 volts going into the control board. And after the 28 volts goes into the control board, it will come out on the thermostat terminal strip which is right down here in mine. It will look different in every furnace, but for the most part, it'll be in a row like this where it says W, Y, R, G, C for common. So the next thing you wanna check is R, which is power, to common, or B, or C sometimes too. So if I check voltage between R and common, as you can see on my meter, I do have 28 volts. So the board received 28 volts, and it's putting out 28 volts at that terminal strip. Now if you're getting voltage that far, then chances are your control board is good. Usually you're gonna lose voltage somewhere before that. Also, what you can find helpful is on the back of your furnace door, most of the time there will be a wiring schematic, and it could be hard to follow, like mine for example, has a bunch of lines and stuff, but if you look at, um, just look on that schematic until you find the power supply, which in my case is right here, Look for the black and white, and then you can kind of follow those lines where they go into the board. And then it'll explain sometimes what color those wires are, what terminals they go into. And, you know, sometimes it'll help you track down the wires that way. Also, if you do end up needing a new control board, the way you go about looking for the new replacement board, most of the time on the board itself, it'll tell you its model number or part number. And in my case, it even tells me, replace with CNT2184. So if I ever needed a new board, all I had to do is look up this board right here and get it on Amazon or whatever. And that is the basics of troubleshooting your control board. Sometimes it'll be some goofy situation and then it's not as easy to troubleshoot and you do kind of have to go case by case basis. But for the most part, if you follow that procedure, you will be able to figure out if your board bat is bad or not. So once again, as a reminder, if you have power going into it, but it's not sending power out, the board is bad. Same for a furnace, for example. If you have power going into it, but it's not sending power to, let's say, your inducer motor or your igniter, then your board is bad. I hope that makes sense to you. If you didn't quite get it, you can ask me in the comments below, and I'll try to explain it better down there. And that is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on your way out, and we'll see you next time.